a very advocate, and he's joining us this morning from Washington, D.C., uh, near the steps of the U.S. Supreme Court. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I want to talk about what Jim Leland said, because after that interview, you know, we broke down and I went out to watch batting practice. Jim Leland came out to talk to me again about the issue a half hour later, and he said, you know, everybody has a right to do what they please in America. They have a right to hold the job they want. And I, I was surprised that he really thought about it and, um, and, and came out and he thought it was important to tell me that. Does that intrigue you? Yeah, absolutely. It sounds like you struck an accord with him and maybe something that he hasn't thought about too much or maybe something that he has been thinking about. And that's why we're here. We're trying to educate people. We're trying to talk about this situation. And really, at the end of the day, we're trying to make it so everybody can excel at what they do, at love, at being a father, a mother, a brother, an employee. And if you can't be yourself, then how are you going to excel? If you can't tell the world who you are and be proud about it, if you have to hide it, then you're not going to excel, and we're not going to excel as a community and as, as a nation. Uh, you and a number of other professional ball players filed an amicus brief with the court. Can you explain to our viewers what that is? Yes, yeah, so we, we, we wrote a brief, and basically we're trying to repeal Proposition 8 in California, and that's uh, banning same-sex marriage. So we believe that everybody has the right to freedom, the right to love. We, we believe the Constitution guarantees those rights. So we wrote our amicus brief, and uh, we're going to be heard out today. And you're also taking part in some of the demonstrations that are going on right now. Can you tell us about them? Yes, yeah, so everybody's here. We're, we're having a, a LGBT rally for marriage equality, and there's about 95% supporters and maybe about 5% people that don't support us. But we're here to tell our story, and we're here to gain attention and positive traction. So uh, when the uh, Supreme Court goes in there today, they know that the American public is here to support the cause. A lot of people said they feel a change, that the majority of Americans are now ready to accept same-sex marriage and gay rights. Do you feel that, or is the fight yet to come? Absolutely. There's, there's been a tremendous change. I've been talking about this issue since 2009, and just talking about it in NFL locker rooms, there's been a huge change there, and we're behind society as a whole in the NFL locker room, and society is way ahead of us, so the majority of Americans, we're ready, but I think we're not here to do what's popular or do what, you know, the majority of people think is right. We're here to fight for the rights of of what the Constitution guarantees, and that's that everybody is created equal and everyone will be protected and treated equal underneath, under, under the law. So we're going to need the majority of Americans to uh, help us with that fight so the minorities have the rights that everyone else has. The U.S. Supreme Court, you know, you never know what it's going to do or how it's going to rule, right? right. It, it might say, you know, we're going to just let the, uh, the political aspects of same-sex marriage play out and let America decide. We're judges. Maybe we shouldn't decide. If it does that or if it rules against same-sex marriage, what do you do then? Yeah, well, I mean, we're trying to do what's right. Like I said earlier, we're not trying to do what's popular. And America's got it wrong before, whether you're looking at... Um why we had to go through Loving versus Virginia, and that's, that was interracial marriage, and you go through suffrage and, and um, segregation and all sorts of things. America's gotten it wrong before, and the Supreme Court has gotten it wrong. And so now this is our chance to make amends and, and get some of the things right uh, this time around. And if, we, if they go against us and they don't vote for us, then we're just going to continue to fight because we believe eventually at the end of the day that love is going to overrule everything, and, and doing the right thing is going to overrule everything. Brendan, I am Badejo, Baltimore Ravens. Thank you so much for joining us.